Unfortunately, I didn't bring my ice skates today. Oh, I wonder how many people have slipped on this. Oh, okay. Nice and muddy. Oh! There's no coming up from this. Fortunately, I didn't bring my ice skates today, but I don't think we'll be needing them in about an hour or so. This is so bad, guys. It's definitely the iciest I've been on the trail in a while. Uh, I wonder how many people have slipped on this. And I figure I might as well just keep it recording, just in case there's a little slip here. I kind of tend to laugh at people falling and, and failing, you know, if it is in a comedic way, so I won't feel bad if I fall and you laugh. So there's really a lot to see here, guys. Both directions just take us completely opposite ways of this forest reserve. And we got a lot to see today. We're gonna start here to the right, just because we got the bridge. I wasn't really sure which way to go at first, but why not? I did see some people walking this way right as I got on the trail, or at least right when I was getting to that corner there, but looks like they turned around. I don't blame them, that's such a nicey trail. I'm really enjoying this bridge in this creek area. This is Big Rock Creek here, going through here. Nice and peaceful, nice and relaxed environment. I think this in itself made this trip worth it, honestly. Whatever else we see is just the cherry on top. Actually, I've never said everything else is the cherry on top after only being at a place for about five or 10 minutes. So this is probably gonna be a pretty good day. Hopefully, if I see anything even near as beautiful as this area. So that's what I'm expecting out here, actually. Now I'm chatting, why don't I just get started? Good morning, guys. How's it going? Got a beautiful sunny day today, nice and warm. We are getting into spring hiking here, but got a little bit of snow and ice ahead of us. As you saw back here, and as you can see behind me, a bit of ice on the trail. It's about 31 degrees right now as I'm getting started, but we're looking at about a mid 40 degree day today and sunny all day. So once it gets warm and warms up this ground, it'll get a little sloppy, but it won't be as icy. It'll be a lot easier to walk on. So. Getting off to a bit of a slow start right now. I'll be as careful as possible not to step on the ice, of course, but easier said than done, especially when you're recording as you're walking. But this may be one of the last winter hikes we shall see. It's supposed to be pretty nice the next week, mid 40s, sunny, so I could see it all going away. This could be it. Today I'm at Big Rock Forest Preserve down in Big Rock, Illinois. Got the address down below if you'd like to visit for yourself. In this place, it's an absolutely massive forest preserve for Illinois standards. I'm not exactly sure how much I'll be doing today, but there's a ton of trails that go through here. There's a campground, there's quarry, there's lake, there's creeks. Got a little bit of everything out here, but I actually didn't pre-plan my distance today. So there is one route on the All Trails app, which I will link down in the description below. But for whatever reason, there's a ton of trails here, but nothing on the app. So I'm not exactly sure how much distance I'll do today. I didn't actually map it out, but I'm gonna do every single trail here besides the ones that go directly to the campground. After today, we'll know exactly what Big Rock Forest Preserve has to offer. I'm looking forward to a nice, long, relaxing, peaceful, sunny, warm hike today. Hope you are too. I'll see you out there. So if you saw my Rollins Savannah Forest Preserve video last week, this just kind of reminded me of the area just a little bit. Nice open prairie, although, there's a lot more forest in here. We'll get a ton more cover than we did last week for sure. I don't mind nothing though, cause it's just so nice to have the sun back. Nice and warm for a change. Well, 31 degrees, it's warm in comparison to what it has been. Although I will tell you guys one thing, I was gonna film a message video yesterday, every day before yesterday, and then every day following yesterday, including today of course, is nice weather you know, mid 40s, whatever. Yesterday was 30 degrees with like a 15 mile an hour wind chill. And I took one step outside and I was like, nah, not today. 
just because we had warmed up already, it was just a slap in the face. But that's what Illinois does. And I did mention it in my last video. I'm not 100% sure that the winter's over yet. Illinois just likes to switch its mind and just do whatever it feels like. Well, the Midwest in general, I should say. The weather is just as unpredictable as what you'll find out when you come out in nature. I said this last week too, but it's bizarre to walk on the ground again after so many months of it being pure snow. We didn't have much melting this year. They were having so much fun out here, they decided to build a snowman. Alright, there you go. I prefer to just hike through it, but hey, if you like to spend that much time and just relax, that's up to you. More power to you. I absolutely stand behind anyone spending a ton of time out in nature. I was just talking about someone coming out here having fun building a snowman. Well, this is my idea of fun. Coming out here, looking for the best views. <laughs> Doing whatever it takes to get to it. Yeah, might as well just keep going this way. A little shortcut to the trail over there. Thanks Creek, appreciate the views. A nice peaceful log. It's kind of like a clearing over there. Footsteps going that way, oh, I better check it out. Nice. I might as well just continue on. I'm gonna guess I can find my way back to the trail from here. This is nice though, I feel like I'm Ready for a nice spring hike here. Could be a nice clearing for a deer. All right, it has turned into a legit trail here. Today just feels so perfect for this because I didn't set a distance or I don't know the full distance. Although I know I'll be doing all or most of the forest reserve. It just feels nice and relaxed and just kind of wandering out here in the woods. Also just a lot of fun in general. Freedom! Real good way to get your heart rate going running through the woods like that. People must not come all the way out here since the trail isn't very icy. Not as traveled, looks like. You know, I saw the creek from the north side of the trail here. And now I see the trail, it goes right next to it. How did I miss that? Always scaring the ducks. I don't mean to. This is just insane. This trail is in no way even on the map. I just stumbled upon it. That's just the beauty of nature. I can't believe it sometimes. I feel like I've just seen so much greater stuff not following the trail, honestly, sometimes. And it is pretty clear that not very many people have taken this trail, which I find pretty unfortunate. They missed out on this beautifulness, a nice peaceful creek. I mean, I'm all alone out here. It just feels like it's just me and the creek. Yeah, she looks pretty nice. I wonder if they rent kayaks or pedal boards here. Yeah, I talk about getting on the water while there's still snow on the ground. I'm excited, guys. Oh, hi. Where did this come from? I guess they go across the water when it's frozen here. I have to be going pretty fast and be pretty brave to attempt it at this point. This just goes on and on. So I checked my map and it looks like this trail actually follows the creek until about the end of time. So 
instead of going down, you know, 10 miles before I realize it, I'm probably just gonna turn around and leave that for another day. I wouldn't mind just walking this creek for a few hours. It just seems so peaceful. I'll have to come back, maybe bring the dogs or something. After a bit of bushwhacking, we're back on the trail here. That was actually a lot of fun going through all that stuff. It's been a while since I've actually had to trek through some stuff and not just had a open path ahead of me. Here's the best snapshot of this area here. Nice and open prairie. Nice and shiny. Back out on the big prairie, making our way to the west side. It's definitely starting to melt a little bit. So believe it or not, there is something nicer than this view and being here right now in this moment. The parking lot is not even a quarter mile away from here. So you can come here anytime you want and just relax on this bridge, taking the views, taking the nature, taking the scenery. Get right back on with your day. It's so awesome that this is only the halfway point, just over three miles here. Bit of a mulching area down here. There's another parking lot. Here we go. Seigler Lake? Siegler Lake? One of these days after all these finds, I'll be able to make a full outfit. So this is actually the only trail on the All Trails app, which makes sense. Very beautiful area. Eerily similar to my last video. I made the comments about the pond to my left. Although this is a lake. And the creek to my right. Just about the same area. I'm just kidding. This is extremely nice in comparison to the last place. I just saw this as I was saying that. Here I might as well head down there. Looks nice and muddy, but... I want to say the view is going to be worth it. Whoa. That's all I can do. Had to really work for this one. <laughs> this whole time I'm here thinking I'm going to be slipped on the ice and nope, just the regular mud, regular old mud. It's worth it, let me tell you. All right, not really looking too dirty, a little bit on the elbow here. But when I fell, I landed right on my arm here, and so my pants didn't get wet, which is nice. Feel free to go back at it and laugh again. I told you it was okay. All right, here's the beginner version of what I just did. There are just a massive amount of these split-offs here around this lake. Just offers so many different awesome views here. I wasn't gonna go down this, but I did see this as I was over there at the bridge as I got on the trail, but I was pretty sure I saw a trail that bordered the lake here. This is awesome. Gosh, this is such a nice trail. Why didn't they advertise this on the All Trails app? I don't know. I will be extremely careful though. Definitely don't want to fall down this ledge. Especially with the ice right here. It's just begging me to slip up. Headed that way, presumably up that hill. Just like that. It's like we're back to civilization. This is the nice spot right at the top here. Although I think we might get another outlook over that way. I will not be going down this way. <laughs> There's no coming up from this. I don't think we're going up quite yet. Going right, but I'll be going up that on the way back. Hit the ridge line, see the lake. Nice beautiful ending spot I'd say. So this is the trail that leads right up to the campground to the north here which when I put in the forest reserve to come here, the gates were closed when I got here, so they must uh, close it for the winter. I mean, I think most places probably closed for the winter or probably because of the pandemic, but we're not gonna go all the way up there. There's a little loop like right ahead up here, like a quarter mile ahead. We're gonna hit that, 
come back the other side. We'll come up that ridge that I talked about, and then we'll be making our way back to the start. Yes, you're run of the mill basic forest here. A little bit of prairie. You guys see that? Looks like an overlook right up there, top of a hill. See an open field there, but I don't know how I'm gonna get to it. Might just have to miss that view today. Sorry, guys. All right, here's about as far out as I want to make it today. That way goes to the campground, but we're gonna do this little loop here, which actually came up pretty quick. I guess I kind of expected that. Pretty lucky that this stuff's still a little bit frozen. It's deep, and I could definitely be falling through this right now, as I have been like all winter here. Nice, so it's kind of like walking on a cloud. Oh! Nothing but country out here, guys. I just feel good knowing this could have been me walking through here. Well, this would bring us back to where we started, but I'm gonna do the outer perimeter here. Just get the other side of this field, and we'll be climbing up the mountain. Just simply a nice open field walk. Oh wow, it meets up with the creek. This is just a great day out here. I love this place. I feel so spoiled out here. I have seen so much awesome stuff out here that is off trail. This is just so awesome, guys. Did not expect it, but just going off on your own path, so worth it. You never know what you're gonna find, even if it's not out in nature. Just trying something new, doing something different, looking for something new that may better you or may just be a new experience. Totally worth it, guys. Get up, get out here, and just see what greatness you can find. I've been waiting for it, have you? This is awesome. What a spectacular place to be. It's just really crazy to me sometimes I'll see views like this and wonder why the heck I never came out here to look at it. I mean, it's been here all my life. Oh, I've been missing out. Well, it's definitely pretty good out this way. This is an awesome path view right here. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this. That is awesome. I could just imagine my excitement going up this hill just to see what I just saw. Uh, different perspective, guys, different experience. You know, you can come out to this same place four times a year and I guarantee you'll have a different experience every single time. You might see some of the same things, but whatever happens out here, it's not gonna be the same. It's all unique. That experience is something you can hold on to for the rest of your life, and you'll always have a memory to look back at that made that experience so special. Is this why they call it Big Rock? I don't think so. As nice as this trail started, it's already coming to an end. Ah, I'm pretty sure this is the only bench here. I mean, it's a pretty good spot. This is an awesome overlook, but <laughs> there's definitely not as many as I see at other places. What's so much better is how close this view is to the parking lot. Fortunately, that's going to be the excitement for the day, making our way back. It's amazing how much there is to see out here. So much even in that lake loop there. I mean, if you just came here and did that, that would be enough, more than enough for the day. Still pretty icy here in some of these spots. Although it's going to take a while for this to melt, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this parking lot is just that close. Bye, bridge. Final stretch. A little less icy, a little less risk. Although it has been about three and a half hours. This was a great place today, guys. So glad I came out this way. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. There is just so much variety out here. Each trail seems to have its own character and personality, which I just love to see. And I hope you decide to come out here yourself just to do a little bit. You don't have to do the full experience, but just pick a little trail, check it out for an hour or so, half hour. It's just so easy to come out here and just find so much beauty and peace I love to be out here at, at all times. It's hard to leave sometimes. But if we didn't leave, we wouldn't be able to go to the next adventure. So, might as well keep on moving forward. A little over seven miles today, and we just hit the three and a half hour mark. Not a bad hike. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Really appreciate you walking with me. Hope you enjoyed the views. 
As always, let me know and rise to visit next down in the comments. My name is Jake Fox, this is Walk Talk Bike and Hike, and I will see you in the next adventure.